हेलो ऑल आई एम डॉक्टर कार्तिक फ्रॉम डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ बायोमेडिकल इंजीनियरिंग एस एन एस कॉलेज ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी कोयम्बटूर इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर सीरीज वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट आउटपुट डिवाइसेस वर्चुअल रियलिटी एलिमेंट्स एंड क्लासिक कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ वर्चुअल रियलिटी एज वेल एज वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द एप्लीकेशन ऑफ वर्चुअल रियलिटी इन मेडिसिन इन दिस अक्टूबर मंथ लेक्चर वीडियो वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट the input devices in virtual reality here already we have discussed the virtual reality input devices why do we need that and uh, what is the use of trackers trackers performance and uh, trackers performance characteristics here we are going to discuss about the other types of virtual reality trackers okay comparison of ac and dc magnetic trackers already we have discussed and here we have how to select a tracker we have examples uh, actually uh, that uh, one thing we have to keep it in our mind the tracker should provide high accuracy and it should meet the uh, virtual reality objective virtual reality objective is we have to create a real world experience in real world real world here real world is uh, what i meant here is uh, our virtual reality world each and every time coordinate should be maintained and it should be mapped with transmitter data the transmitter and receiver side it should provide exact matched data that is our goal that is our aim so we have to uh, select a tracker based on its performance see here a standard for motion tracking for years here we have uh, some applications like high accuracy head tracking eeg localization training and simulation of eye and a simulation and eye tracking and we have some we have to incorporate some kind of neuroscience and biomechanics here see here uh, not only about performance we need to specially uh, analyze the specifications and uh, other things of our trackers Uh, while coming into specifications part we have update rate interface latency a uh, static accuracy operating temperature power requirement software tools and regulatory and here also we have to concentrate on the range of uh, trackers as well as the resolution per resolution part we have to identify and we have to provide a maximum output at real world and virtual world experience see here the cost effective patriot see here uh, we have to modify some kind of specifications as well as the uh, range of tracker and resolutions based on that applications it should be cost effective and it should be user friendly also here we have an example and we have some widely used and expensive things tracking guiding and localizing medical instruments within patient's body and your second thing is 3d measurement and analysis of human movement for biomechanical purpose sports performance and design and track head and objects for matching computer generated imagery with head direction weapon aiming and interactive instructions are expensive tracking of head hands and 3d pointers for interaction with large scale and immersive displays which are all widely used and really expensive and we have another example of magnetic tracker here it adds this aurora adds customizable real time spatial measurement technology to simulation systems to deliver realistic surgical navigation or weapons targeting simulation in all 6 degrees of freedom 6 dof it can have six kind of uh, movements see here the example of magnetic tracker c in this magnetic tracker it pro, it, it is uh, a customized one and it Uh, really it delivers a very good surgical navigation and with the help of 6 dof 6 degrees of freedom see here are the characterized measurement volume and its uh, specifications see here and uh, this aurora specifications are listed here here while listing we have to uh, uh, keep it in our mind uh, like uh, the elements of uh, 
virtual reality parameters accuracy position orientation and accuracy in 5d of as well as 6d of and uh, here we concentrate uh, 6d of as well as 5d of when comparing with 5d of 6d of it provides high accuracy more than that and also we have to keep it in our mind that position and orientation which makes a greater support in real life and real time experiencing here all data collected uh, with the aurora v2 system in an environment free of electromagnetic disturbances accuracy depends on tool design and the presence of metal here the results are based on more than 300 random positions and orientation distributed throughout this characterized volume so we have to inspect uh, a 360 degree view for creating one particular application in virtual reality okay your next one is ultrasonic tracker okay here uh, i'll wind up uh, this lecture video in this next we in our next video we are going to discuss about the ultrasonic trackers in virtual reality medicine thank you